Hello, I'm Stephen Nisbet, and this is a video about combining organ stops. It's the second video in a series. The first one I talked about understanding organ stops, and I talked about the four different families of sounds on an organ. The first family is the principal or diapason sound. It's the typical organ sound. It sounds like this. The second group of sounds are called the flutes. The third sound is the strings. And then the fourth sound are the reeds. We can have quiet reeds. Or we can have loud reeds. That's a trumpet. So we've got those four families of sounds. We can combine these in different ways. The first way of combining them is to have a chorus. Let me just do, uh, demonstrate a principal chorus where we build up um, all the principles of the different uh, pipe lengths, eight foot, four foot, two foot, etc. So here's a chorus. It's just like putting together a choir of basses and tenors and altos and sopranos. So let's put together a principal chorus, starting with the eight foot. And the four foot. And the two foot. And put the mixture on the top with a lot of brightness here. That's a diapason or a principal chorus. Let's have a listen to the flutes and we build up a chorus. Starting with the eight foot. And the four foot. And add the two foot. stops in the string family to put together a chorus. So I've got two strings here. I'll put them together. So that's the first way of combining organ stops, putting together a chorus of stops of the same family, the principal chorus, a flute chorus, maybe strings, and reed chorus now. Here's a trumpet by itself. And now add a 16 foot. So that's the concept of a chorus. Let's now discuss a second way of putting organ stops together, and that's to have a melody in one hand and an accompaniment in the other. We could have a melody which is on a quiet reed, say the clarinet. With a quiet accompaniment in the left hand and in the pedals. an oboe, as we've got here on this organ. Or you could have a loud um, reed for a melody. Check that the balance is right so that the 
the melody and the accompaniment are fairly balanced. One doesn't drown the other out. Sometimes if you've got a, a weak pedal area, then you might need to add a pedal coupler. So in this case, I might add uh, a great to pedal. a melody is to say put together some flutes into uh, a solo um, combination and the accompaniment on the great swell with the flutes eight foot four foot and a nazard two and two thirds the nazard is a, a mutation stop it doesn't sound in octaves it sounds uh, a fifth and an octave above the note that you're playing so that can be an effective way of producing another melody sound so here we have two different ways of combining organ stops either in a chorus where we put a number of stops of the same family together eight foot, two foot, and eight foot, four foot, and two foot. Or you can have solo melody in one hand and an, and an accompaniment in the other. And you can have quiet solo melodies or you can have loud solo melodies. So let me finish off with a loud solo, solo melody accompanied by the principles on the great. To investigate the number of ways that you can do it on the organ that you're familiar with maybe the church organ or your home organ and it's worth time spending uh, time doing this uh, getting to know your stops knowing which ones are in the families which ones you can combine in a chorus which ones you can use as a solo and the appropriate accompaniment for that so i encourage you to spend time at the organ discovering the combinations of stops that work for you and the instrument that you play Thanks for listening.